Uh, major poll suggests that Labour is closing in on the Conservatives, but predicts still that Boris Johnson's party are still on course to win the general election. Well, today, 15 former Labour MPs are using newspaper adverts to urge voters not to back Jeremy Corbyn, saying he's unfit to be Prime Minister. Let's joining go. us now is the Shadow Secretary of State for Employment Rights, Laura Pidcock. So, Laura Pidcock, good morning to you. Good morning. We had Jonathan Not Ashworth, the here. Shadow Health Secretary, <laughs> on yesterday morning. He was absolutely emphatic. Labour were going to romp to victory. Jeremy Corbyn was great. Everything was sunny in the, in the uh, garden of all things Labour. And then a tape came out in which he appeared to be saying the complete opposite. It's not going to happen. Jeremy Corbyn is not going to be Prime Minister. If he does, there's a national security risk the civil servants will have to rescue us from. And the situation for Labour electoral in this election is dire. Now, Mr Ashworth <laughs> and Mr Corbyn both want us to believe this was banter. I wonder if you could, just for the purposes of clarity, explain to us what the joke was and why nobody was laughing. Well, I'm not Jonathan Ashworth's spokesperson. I'm not here to put words in his mouth. He went out and did lots of broadcast yesterday explaining what he meant by that. This was a private conversation he was having with a friend. It's unfortunate that it was recorded, but, but there we are. And he's, he's said time and time again that he thinks we will win. And um, there are highs and lows for candidates in, in a general election scenario, um, as in within hours and minutes, you can feel really high and really low from Door, door to door. Jonathan has been really clear that he thinks we can win. And actually, it is what I am experiencing on the doors. I've had people say, uh, and it was interesting to listen to your, your interview with the previous um, person, that the, the, they'd voted Liberal Democrat in the past, but they don't agree with the unequivocal revoke position. Or people say that they are actually, they have voted Tory in the past, but they're very, very worried about what five more years of austerity or a government under Boris Johnson would do. Uh, and I think that um, so I am saying, feeling saying, very, very positive about that are you saying Jonathan? Are you saying Jonathan Ashworth was lying in the tape? I mean, he said it was. No. Or was he lying no, when he said I, it was banter? Because it can't I, I, be true that Labour's situation is dire. Jeremy Corbyn won't be prime minister, and that his belief is that Labour's doing great and going to win the election. I mean, you understand that both things can't be true. One of them's a lie. I understand. I I understand what Jonathan said yesterday, and I'm sure you wouldn't expect me to um, tell him what he believed or didn't believe. No, he I'm asking said you to, I'm asking you to he, tell me which uh, one of the so which he, one of the two versions is true: the one he, he says said, in public or the one he said in private, speaking to a friend. Now we can have our own view about the morality well, of a friend he, yeah, of a friend frying him like that. I'm sure we all agree friend, that friend's yeah. a little weasel, but it doesn't change what Jonathan Ashworth, <laughs> who we like, well, you think it's funny. Many people will not find it funny that a senior... I, I, I just well, hang on, let me finish. I just think it's funny many the way finish. you characterised it as You're reasonable. Right, but yeah. many people don't find this funny at all, and I'll tell you why. For the Shadow Health Secretary to be saying to a friend, without realising anyone's listening, mm. that if Jeremy Corbyn gets to be mm. Prime Minister, there is a national security threat to this country... It would have to be cleared up by the civil service. That is very serious. Do you accept that? Mm. Well, if that were true, that would be very serious. There, you know, there is no way that Jeremy Corbyn poses a national security risk uh, to this nation, the safety of this nation as, and, and its people. Why would Jonathan Ashworth think he concern. does? And I, 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 and, and he, you know, I've said, you know, three times now that Jonathan Ashworth um, clarified his comments yesterday. He said so it was did banter. Jeremy Corbyn. He did so what was, much what broadcast. What was the banter? Yeah, he did say it. it it, it, well, I, I can't, you know, um, interpret Jonathan Ashworth's Did you jokes think he was joking? Did he sound he like banter to you? He, uh, you know, what I don't think is a joke is, um, is the images that he has been working tirelessly to show from behind the scenes in the NHS. He has been absolutely um, courageous in exposing what privatisation has done to the NHS. The Prime Minister yesterday would not look at that image of the boy that was on the floor with sus suspected pneumonia and then all of the fake news that spiralled from that. That's the real issue, isn't it? That actually our NHS is under the most incredible strain uh, and Jonathan Ashworth has done a very, very good job at exposing that and being very brave and saying yeah, and that privatisation in the NHS And for many end. people, that is absolutely 
the biggest issue of the election and you are going full steam mm. ahead is, yeah. on that with that picture, little Jack Willeman on the floor. There's a letter by 15 former Labour MPs going to use an advertising bombardment today to urge voters not to back Jeremy Corbyn for Prime Minister. We've also got barely a third of the members of uh, Len McCluskey's Unite Union plan to vote Labour. What is it that has made your party lose so many critical voters? I just don't think we have. We are going to see people go to the polls tomorrow and I am infinitely optimistic about that. I'm not just saying that. I'm a Shadow Secretary of State for Employment Rights. I wish to be the Secretary of State for Employment Rights and I know what a critical change we could make in, in government that once and for all we could have a state, a government that is part of the problem is Jeremy that Corbyn, is on the side as Jonathan of, Ashworth of does? People. Or do you think part of the problem might be Brexit? the fact that uh, your policy is to hold a second referendum, but for the leader to remain completely neutral on it. Do you think you've lost a big proportion of the Brexit vote? As you'd understand, I've been talking to hundreds, possibly thousands of people by now about uh, this very issue. And in my time as a Member of Parliament, I did too. I listened very, very carefully. And people understand that actually the political class has failed. I'll just remind people that the Labour Party have not been in power for a decade, but the political class have undoubtedly failed on delivering Brexit. The withdrawal agreement was not good enough for the Labour Party. Many Leave voters that I have spoken to across the country um, are saying that they understand I mean, the, the Prime Minister himself voted against the agreement two times. They're saying, well, it might have got us out, but it sold us out in, in the process. And they absolutely understand that you cannot have an unequivocal revoke position. Uh, somebody actually said to me there'd be, you know, th th there'd be so much tension and conflict if it was just ignored that result. But similarly, you have to go and try and get a credible leave option. And Jeremy didn't say he's staying neutral. He's going to be an honest broker yeah, in the situation. Go, considering who are you he going to, to send? Lead. He will okay, have to lead. Are you, the negotiations. Right. Who are you going to send to get this great new deal, given that almost every senior member well, of the Labour Party doesn't want a deal? Well, I'm, I'm not sure that's true. Every single person is um, standing it? on a manifesto. Who that would negotiate saying, that deal for Labour? So there'll be a... There'll, there'll be lo lots of different people involved, I'm sure, one? and I'm hoping... Can you name one who um, genuinely on, wants a good new deal on, to leave? On the employment, yeah, people are standing on a manifesto that says they will go to Brussels. Can you name and one senior a member of agreement. the Labour shadow shadow cabinet? Name, name one senior one Jeremy who you could Corbyn, send in, instance. who you could send in, who genuinely wants to well, get a great new Leave deal. Yes, yeah, so you will know that the Labour Party has already had discussions with the European Union in very I good faith, and we are all saying we are going there with with an open mind. Well, I, I, you know, Richard Bergen went, Keir Starmer went, um, Rebecca Long Bailey Keir has Starmer been absolutely wants to brilliant in the negotiation. Keir Starmer has all, he came on the show and said, "I want to remain." Negotiating. Do you understand why Leavers who've got a you're chance to vote tomorrow who... might be slightly sceptical if Keir Starmer is the guy you're going to send, given that he's already stated, for the record, I want us to remain in the European Union? Why would you think he'd get a great Leave there deal be out of the EU, given he wants the... to stay in? So there will be lots of different people that they negotiate the different elements of the withdrawal agreement yeah. and every single person, and it is a solemn promise, that manifesto, um, that absolutely magnificent manifesto that has been produced by the Labour Party yeah. that says very clearly our strategy. Jeremy Corbyn will, of course, be the lead negotiator okay. as the Prime Minister of this okay. nation. Okay. But th this election is, is about two scenarios, Piers. You know, there are 14.3 million people in poverty, 9 million of which are in work and households, 4 million children in poverty. We saw that despicable image of that poor child on the floor yeah. in a hospital. This cannot go on. We are, you but know, you've seen Ken Loach's country, film, maybe. Okay, I, where, yeah, I understand you, but running yeah. a country is also about yeah. protecting the people of this country. Many people, as I said, would have been very yeah. concerned that Jonathan Ashworth, Shadow Health Secretary, has said he has genuine serious concerns about Jeremy Corbyn becoming Prime Minister in terms of our national security. One of those concerns, he didn't articulate it, but we have had this debate with him, and he disagrees with the leadership on this. One of them is that Labour's position on the Trident nuclear defence system, which is designed to protect us from any nuclear conflict, uh, and will cost £200 billion yeah. pounds to the taxpayer, 
Labour's position is to support it, but Jeremy Corbyn's position is that he would never use it. Can you explain to us how it works as a deterrent if the Prime Minister of this country, if it was Jeremy Corbyn, says he would never use it? Well, what you, you, have, you have the deterrent. The Labour Party manifesto is very, very clear, isn't it, that we would renew, tri renew Trident. I mean, but if you don't Jeremy use it, Corbyn what is the deterrent? Just, just to clarify, if you don't use Jeremy... it and you say to the, your enemy, we're never going to use it, I'm never going to use the deterrent, what is the deterrent? How does it work? Well, actually, what, what, well, what you are talking about, if you're talking about using it, is the slaughtering of millions yeah, we all know what nuclear weapons do. We all know what they do. Across, That's why there hasn't uh, been a nuclear... There's not been a nuclear the, conflict uh, in the last 60 years because of the... Uh, the because of the nuclear what deterrent, do you understand? About, Sorry, Piers, I was just going to finish. What, what I would say about Jer Jeremy Corbyn is I know he takes the security of this nation as an utmost priority. Yeah. It is absolutely ludicrous, actually, to suggest otherwise. Um, we are... But can you uh, just explain? In, just you know, for, just treat, look, treat me like an idiot, Laura. Laura. Uh, treat so me like, treat me like an the idiot. the deterrent, isn't it? Treat me like an idiot. How does a deterrent work if I the person... I would never do that, Piers. If, oh, oh, very, thank you. Uh, how does a deterrent work <laughs> if the person in charge of it says he'd never use it and everyone knows that? How does it work? How does it deter people? You, you have that deterrent, don't you? So our, our manifesto is saying that we are committing to the renewal of Trident. Right. And, you know, I think that okay. we need to be talking about what really is peace and security in the nation, Piers. There are people getting up to work this morning who do not feel secure at work, who cannot pay their mortgage, who cannot pay their bills. Uh, there are veterans sleeping on the streets yep. of this nation. All serious issues. We are saying we, we will put, 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 put oh. very, 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 very serious. Yep. Okay. And, Laura, and then, we've got to leave it there. Be light shone on those. Yes. No, no. We, you've yes, shone many you. a light on many issues today, and we appreciate <laughs> you coming on the program. Unlike many of your gutless no friends, <laughs> we normally have Jonathan Ashworth, but obviously he wasn't available today <laughs> for reasons that remain rather rather curious. But we appreciate you coming Laura on. Laura Pickott, thank you very much.